If I'm not working hard enough for the photo, that photo doesn't really have as much meaning for me. So if I'm hiking days for it, or if I, you know, I'm starving for food, <laughs> and I still get a cool photo that I like to bring back home with me and I'm happy about, then that means way more. I consider myself mostly a mountain photographer. I love the mountains, that's where I started out. I like picturing kind of broad landscapes that are kind of barren as well. So if you can like breathe in that dust or, you know, look at it and want to be there, you know. It's kind of bringing down that wall and creating an immersive experience. I do know the moment that photography was for me, and that was in Norway. That's sketchy, folks. We were on this seven day hike, and it was through the mountains. And we get elevation up to, you know, 1600 meters every day, and then traverse along the mountain tops. We were avoiding these snowdrifts because they were going over rivers. And you, you couldn't see the rivers, but you could hear them and they would rumble and you could feel it in your chest. And I fell right through. And just this void opened up underneath me and my feet were dangling, I could feel them dangling. My backpack had luckily pushed against the hole that I had made and stopped me from going any further in. It happened so fast, right? And uh, my girlfriend's just like, you know, freaking out on top. She doesn't know what to do. I kind of push myself up like a seal and I just kind of get that even surface area and I roll out. <laughs> and I just start laughing, I guess out of pure adrenaline or something, you know, this crazy laugh, right? And I got back up and out of pure craziness, I looked back down into the void and you could just see these snowflakes like, drifting off into the abyss. After that scare, we continued on and, and uh, we come up over the crest of this mountain and beneath it was just this, the bluest, most neon turquoise lake. The contrast of like the neon greens from the moss and the grass and the rocks. It took a snap. And I think that one capture was kind of like what propelled my career and my interest and passion for photography. When I'm taking a photo that I really like, I just get this rush of energy. Start laying down, trying to find better angles, and start running around like a crazy guy. Gotta get the shot. <laughs> I mainly do photography to capture these beautiful places, to show people what is there. If people don't know it's there, then how can they protect it? And I think the more connection that people have with the outdoors, the better. I just love that feeling of insignificance where you can walk for hours and hours and not see another single soul. And you're able to just be immersed in the meditation of the trail and take your time and enjoy life at a slower pace. If I can enable or inspire people to seek that feeling and seek that connection, I think that we can make leaps in environmental change. <laughs>